We observe that the universe is expanding at the current time. Um, what astronomers have found in, over the last decade is that the universe is actually speeding up in its expansion. It's accelerating over time. Objects, um, supernovae, very bright objects, we've made measurements that show that they're uh, further away than we would have expected if the universe were slowing down. So there now appears to be, in fact, a, a growing body of evidence for this acceleration of the universe. But what it says is that we are actually living at a unique time when we can see many galaxies in the universe that will actually go outside of the radius over which we will be able to measure light traveling to us over. They, they will actually go beyond our visible light horizon. So the universe will appear to get emptier and emptier with time. You know, in the future, if we were born and came out and looked at the universe, we wouldn't see the same universe that we see today. There'll be a lot fewer galaxies within our horizon. So it's, it's a time when the acceleration now is becoming uh, this component of dark energy is, is the dominant component in the universe. And we're seeing for the first time where the effects of this acceleration are starting. It's a funny emotion because it is exhilarating to be able to experience that and to feel that and at the same time, it is rather bleak if you think of where it's all heading. I don't think we can predict when we don't know the properties of this matter. Maybe it decays. This dark energy has some funny property that maybe the universe will stop accelerating and it will start contracting. The only way to get it back together is to assume things will happen in the future that are not indicated now through changing law of some That's kind. Right. Since we don't know what change to give us the dark energy, what the dark energy is, we can't make predictions for the future. We really, I think, lost the, the predictive power, the relation between the expansion and, and the future.